One of the challenges with a field trip, I think, is that it's easy to just go on the field trip and have that be the whole learning experience. And so building into the field trip and building after the field trip are a real goal of mine so that it has more meaning to these kids and it doesn't just become something that they sort of remember running around the tidal basin. And we need to put them in the order that we visited these monuments so that we can talk about them. So can you tell which monument this is? Um, Let's see. Leah, which one is that? The Franklin D. Roosevelt. That is. You remember that little puppy? Yeah. That's the Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Was that the first one we visited? Yeah. It was. That's where we started. So that's the first. Perfect. Hmm. Is that still from the Franklin Delano Roosevelt? No. 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 Which one is this? Bottom. That's the... Which one is this, Mohammed? The Thomas Jefferson Memorial. That's the Jefferson. Was that the first one we visited? No. Was it the second? Yeah. Oh, okay, so we have the first one and the second one. What's that one? Whisper it for me. It was the second. Which memorial is it? It's the Jefferson. See, we've got the Jefferson. What's that one? The Washington. We're going to put it last because we didn't actually get to visit it. So going through their pictures and having them look back at their pictures, and we started on Friday just thinking about what we remembered. And we just brainstormed words that we remembered about each of the memorials so that immediately after the field trip, we were tapping into what we already knew and we wouldn't forget it over the next few days. And then we listened to some biographies and again, jotted down words so that today we could take our pictures and see if we remembered what, where did these pictures come from? Did they come from this memorial or that memorial? And just sort of get our head back into thinking about where we were in each of those different points. And then what do we know about that person? What did we learn? Why were they important? What were their contributions to our country? Um, so that the m field trip really becomes something that they carry with them, the meaning of it, rather than just the fun of it. So was this one the first one we visited, the second one, or the third one? The first. The first. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to drag this picture and move it back over here to the beginning so that we have the Franklin Delano Roosevelt pictures together and then the Jefferson pictures together and then after that we'll have the Martin Luther King pictures together and then the Washington Monument pictures together. But I want you all to come move them. So all I'm doing is when I get to a picture, I'm going to grab it. What memorial is that? Thomas Jefferson, nicely done. You can't even see him there. So I'm going to drag it back over here to these Jefferson pictures. I just touch it and drop it right there. They study American heroes in first grade. The idea being to understand that there were people whose contributions shaped the country, um, which these men certainly fit into that idea of, of their ideals and their actions shaping the country that we live in today. Dariana, can you go drag it to the beginning of our movie? All the way past the Jeffersons, all the way over to the thing. Yep. And just let go of it. There you go. All the together. Hmm. Leo, what was it? The Franklin D. Roosevelt. Great, go drag it. All the way back up there to the beginning. Awesome. Wow. What so was that awesome. one? That one's kind of tricky. I think that one's yeah, right. Veronica, what was that one? The Thomas. The Thomas Jefferson. Veronica, can you walk up that way to come on up? See if you can drag that back to the Jefferson pictures. Wow, some of you really recognize these pieces. This is from the Martin Luther King. Okay, let's see if we've got them all in order or if I've missed anything. Is that still the FDR? Yeah. Where are we now? Thomas, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. All right. So let's see if these are all Jefferson. Yes. 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 No. No. Ooh. What's now? So far, we have everything in the right place. Yes. You could say MLK if you want. Oh wait, no! <laughs> <laughs>
What's this one? Washington. The Washington Monument. Look at how great some of these pictures are. Look at how you can see it reflected in the water of the tidal basin. These were great pictures. So we have them all in the right order. I use Photo Story um, a lot when we have images because it's an easy way for us to sort our images together and then to record link to an image and make our own movie from our pictures. Um, most of the time for first graders we're not ready to just take a video camera and make a movie of something but we can take our still images and put them together into a meaningful whole. So Photo Story allows us to dump the pictures in and I purposefully dump them in in a random order so that we can take the time to sort them. Um, sorting and categorizing is a really important skill for first graders and it's fun when it's your own pictures. Um, it's a fun thing to do to sort anyway, but when it's your own pictures it's even more interesting.